that way too. I didn't see you there now. You're both stupid already. Like you've gone blind now. We get a letter from Vishnu. Who Vishnu? Your son Vishnu. I have no son Vishnu. Who is Vishnu father then? You is the mother and you asking me? He say we reach safe in India. Oh, very nice. Let me throw a big bag. What for that? He say how we have plenty of poor people there. And how we feeling sorry for them. He gone quite India to feel sorry for poor people. He just had to drive through Pinal, Lavantil and Barataria. She could you have no understanding? Where they selling that? That is all you're concerned about, buying and selling. Your son gone to India to study the culture and you sit on here and you mock him. He make a mockery of me. Anywhere I go, everywhere I go, everybody asking me, where your son Chirki? Where your big lawyer boy? And when I tell them he gone to India to study himself, they hemming and hawing and stroking their chin and laughing at me inside. Laughing at me! Chilkut Rampasad Maharaj! Nobody ever laughed at me before. Even when I marry you, they never laugh at me. <laughs> Don't cry, Chilki! You look so ugly when you cry. <laughs> My heart hotting. My heart hotting. Your heart always hotting. Ever since I married you. Now she so lonely. Ever since Vishnu gone. The place so empty. Don't tell me you want another child in your old age. For that to happen, I want to get married to somebody else. You be quiet. Is I alone supposed to make the jokes in this house? She could. I'm thinking about Cornelius. What about him? You think it's time he get married? What's the matter? You encourage one of me son to go to India. Now you want to send the next one to hell? Well, he has to marry sometime. Hmm. And I thought you say you wanted grandchildren, eh? I want to little grandchild be to walk on my back with a dotting. You don't walk on my back anymore. I must walk on your back and dirty my clean foot. I'll dirty your mouth with a stop just now. You go ahead. So what you say, Chilput? For Cornelius, let me give a nice girl. A rich girl. Well, she could be rich too. She must be rich too. Rich Farah, good dowry. Cornelius get land and property and my heart will stop hurting. For a while. All right then. You better start looking for a girl. I don't have to look for a girl. I have such a girl already. Uh -huh. Who is that? Sita. Sita? But of course. But she's Vishnu girlfriend. No problem. As the old people say, man gone, man dead. She will never agree to that. Women have no say in these matters. But you could. A cow? Do call me cow. I'm tired telling you not to call me cow. All right, all right. The name suits you, but I won't call you cow. I don't know if Sita is the best daughter I know for me now. She is for me. She far a rich too bad. I don't know if she could bring me food. Give me. Rub me foot. Give me meds. Give me nothing. What do you want? A daughter-in-law or a nurse? Besides, if Sita married Cornelius, he could bring friction between the two brothers. What friction? He could make them far apart. You don't far apart. One in India, the other in Trinidad. Here are the monthly reports, Pa. You should look at them. Say good, good, very good. Sit down, Corn. Sit down. No, Pa. Why, son? Whenever you call me Corn, it's time for me to run. I have a proposal to make to you. I'm listening. Well. You know your brother is out of the business. He has given up worldly possession. He still is entitled to his share of the property? No. He will give it to some Templar the other. That will kill me. So what are you saying? I'm saying that everything that I have will now come to you. Chuku, you can't do that. You see, Ma disagrees with you. Women always disagree. It is one of your major contributions to life. What do you say to my offer? Uh, you don't have to do this for me. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. I want my wealth to stay in my family. It will go to strangers if I give it to that crazy brother of yours. That is very possible. So, do you accept my offer? What do I have to do in return? Nothing, corn. Nothing. Yes, there is something you call me corn again. Well, it's just a little something which, as your mother say, you have to do sometime or the other. What is that? Buy a car? In a way. In a way. But something else you do, drive around. A wife. A wife? You must get married. <laughs> he laughs. Getting married. <laughs> getting married makes him laugh. He's crazy. Cornelius. It's just that I was thinking of getting married myself. You were thinking of getting married? To who? Farida. Farida? Timadinga? Yeah. Who just called you on the phone and say, hello, corny baby? That's the girl. <laughs> <laughs> My heart hot. You see, Pa, we're thinking on the same wavelength. So no problem. One big problem. What now? If you marry that Farida, you get a single dollar of mine. So, take it all with you to the grave. I'll give it all to charity. Chilki, you're serious? No, 
Come on, Pa. This is a modern world. There is no difference between Muslim and Hindu. That girl will rule you. She will not. She will. And she wants you to get married in a mosque. She did mention that, yes. And she wants you to, to become a Muslim. She keeps saying that, but she's only joking. To change your name from Cornelius Rampasar Maharaj to Mubarak Shafayat Ali. How you know all that? I listen to your phone calls on the extension in my room. All my phone calls? Every one. I know everything that you and she do and plan to do. Oh, my God. Anyway, the fact that she's a Muslim is not what bothers me. Oh? And the fact that she wants to rule you, I could teach you to handle that. So what is really the problem? She father have no money, no property. But he is head teacher and about to retire. He will retire as all teachers do, with gray hairs, half blind, and no money. Anyway, people don't marry for money anymore. You didn't marry Ma for money. I was young and stupid in them days. But you don't have to be like me, Cornelius. With the wealth I will give you and the wealth your wife will add to you, you will have power. Real, real power. And uh, who is this wife who will add wealth to me? One who will do it like no other. Sita. Sita? Vishnu Sita? Nice girl. Rich father, good glory, plenty children. No. Yes. No, Pa. Vishnu was supposed to do all that for you, not me. Don't ask me to step in his shoes. That is what you call Sita? Vishnu's shoes? I'm not joking. I am not joking either. Sita is the one for you. Sita. 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 Richa. 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 It's not possible. Just not possible. In any case, she would never agree. Why would she never agree? Simply because she doesn't like me. Well, make her like you. By her chocolate, flowers, perfume and shaving lotion. Shaving lotion too? To shave she hand and food. I see your mother doing that sometime. Show him cow where you gash your uncle with my safety razor the other day. I will gash your tongue next time. Don't be sour cow, Celia. Show your son how to conquer Sita. Show him how to put on his best personality so that she would fall for him the way you did fall for me. Me fall for you? I wish. It's true. You don't remember? When we were small, how you used to bend over all the banister as I whistling my love songs <whistles> on my bicycle as I pass on your house. And one day you bend over the banister so much as I take the corner that you fall down and bust up your forehead. Aha, look the mat still. What of yourself now? And when I did write you the love letter, I did write and say, Dear cow, I like you plenty, your boy Chiriki. You see how you blushing now and your cheeks trying to get ready? It's just so you used to blush with me in the old days. Hello. Uh, hello. Ah, Sita, daughter, come in, come in. We was only just now talking about you. I, um, I, uh, came to see Cornelius. Good, very good. Uh, Cornelius, very good. Chill, good. Come on, Kelsey. Let me leave the two young people to talk. I'm going to bed and then you go walking me back, eh? You all were just talking about me. What were you saying? Uh, nothing, nothing. What was it? Uh, how painful it must be for you now that Vishnu is gone. Don't cry, please. I'm sorry. Cornelius, I'm in trouble. What? What? What is it? I'm, I'm pregnant. Pregnant? I'm carrying Vishnu's child. Good God. I gave myself to him in the last attempt to make him stay, but he didn't. And now I'm... How could you do a thing like that? I'm to be blamed. Scamp? My brother's a scamp! It's all my fault, I tell you. So he doesn't know you're pregnant then? No. I only found out two days ago. I'll write to him. Tell him he must come back right away. No, no, Cornelius. But girl, he has a responsibility to you. His responsibility is to God and finding himself in his own divinity. He would hate me if I forced him away from his path. If you knew all that, then why the hell did you get yourself in this mess? A moment of weakness. I was desperate, foolish. Please understand. Understand? Understand what? I'm going down. Wait. My father would die if he finds out. He doesn't have to get an abortion. The doctor says it would be dangerous. Some internal complication that I have. So you come to me. What am I to do? Will you marry me, Cornelius? Jesus God, Sita! You're the only one left. I have no other friends. Your brother occupied me so much. Marry you, girl? You want me to marry you while you carry another man's child? Your brother's child. My brother is not me. Why is everybody asking me to be him? My father's only child. All his wealth comes to me. I know. I know. And if I marry you, you give it all to me. In return of this favor I ask of you. Sita, marriage is not a favor. 
It is a lifetime pact between two people. You don't even know me. I might be an animal, brutal, sadistic, drunk and disorderly. You're a hard-working, honest, trustworthy man. You are willing to place your life in my hands on a mere opinion of me? Not all my life. What do you mean? Marry me. Save my family the shame. Let the child be born. And after a while, I leave you and, and this country with my child under some pretext or the other. I see. In the meantime, I don't ask you to be a husband to me. Whatever demands you make of me will yield. But you're free as you are right now. I'll not be a burden to you for all your life. Just give me a year or so of your time and the shelter of your name. I'll be forever grateful to you. I'll give my life for you if you ask of it in the future. Sita. I beg you. Don't kneel to me. Don't beg me like this. I know this is no ordinary request I make of you. If you really cannot do it, I'll understand. Do you have an alternative? Just one. Death. You would really kill yourself if, if I don't do this for you? Yes. What do you say? Let's go and tell my mother and father. <laughs> 